I'm praying that this delay isn't too bad. But anyway, it's your boy Biscuits from the end of the season with another video. And uh, I'm hoping that I can make this one quick and easy. Your boy with the playlist, um, as you come to expect. And this is my first duplicate playlist. Um, November 2. Just place I'm currently referencing is November 1. I wanted to build a lot of my two off of this. But um, honestly, I didn't end up going with too much of this at all. Uh, a lot of this just seemed dated at the time. Uh, you got Kali Uchis, her album came out, I think, somewhere around this time. You got uh, Sweetener by Ariana Grande. Um, King Cruel is obviously a classic, but I didn't go with that one. Smino is very, very seasonal music, I would say, for this time. But a lot of this I just didn't want to use. A lot of it's worn down, I feel like, so I just want to keep it moving. So, off of that, we come to November 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> And uh, here, I never even gave this a cover art. As you can go back and see, I've given every single other month a cover art. But this entire, it, it's, it's a lack of days ago month, I'll be honest with you. I didn't do too much. Uh, I was busy quite a bit. And uh, yeah, that's my excuse. So going off of that, we got uh, DHL came out in October. But uh, I added it just to throw it in there. Uh, Sundress by Rocky fits the mood. Uh, November by Tyler Crater, a classic song that, you know, is named November, so I always throw it in there. Uh, shout out to the Mitz Tape dudes who always come through on these playlists, or always come through on Spotify. Um, usually it's either Esther Tentacion or, or Lil Peep, I'm, uh, peeping off of these, but someone uploaded, uh, most of the highlights off of Live Love ASAP. So, uh, Purple Swag fits November, definitely. Houston Old Head, uh, any kind of chill month, they work very well. Feet of Clay by Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of this EP when I went into it, but it's kind of like if you took the most indulgent parts of uh, SRS and really just drilled them down and made them finer until like it was just nothing but the weird offhand samples, the spiritless bars um you know but his, his raps aren't very bad on the album and um other than the east i think the production is pretty well uh m tomb is great and specifically um the song mavi el toro combo mill um spirited away like uh the fear what what, what is it uh put my fears in the box like purse that you won't read spirited away the whole thing that's quite a bar uh, Shake West YKTS yeah, by the first Shake West song I heard is Mobamba, really good. I mean, it's all right. Um, Hitler, what is this? Hitler wears, um, is it, is it Prada? What's the, uh, what's the part? Hitler wears Hermes 7. Yeah, I listened to this one to my grandma's house and, uh, I tried to play it all the way through. That wasn't a good idea. This is a very long listen, but, um, the production on this, as I'm told, many Griselda products are, is just incredible. Uh, some of the sample flips are some of the best I've heard this entire decade. Uh, Dua Lipa, uh, Lipa, Dua Lipa single, uh, pretty hot in the charts right now. I thought it's pretty good. Uh, Operation Doomsday, hard for me to find a song on here that I haven't like really played the hell out of, but King Ghidra, MF Doom, King of Wrong, that of course. I had no idea. I think this is in my Discover Weekly or something like that. Um, no, it was in my uh, Daily Mints. Really old uh, Kendrick Lamar. Like, you can you can like see hear his verses and like follow the narrative he's presenting. Um, so you know it's old. If it's not just random ass bars, and it's it's a different type of Kendrick. Um, in my room, Frank's second single that came out really good. Uh, I can't wait to hear that, uh, what's it, Sando? Uh, the one that was remixed by the dance hall dude. Um, that, I can't wait, Sando Cayenne remix or Cayenne, Cayenne, Sando remix, something like that. Um, Bank, 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 Bank by DDG. Uh, SRS is a perfect, I think it came out in November, but it's a perfect winter album, I believe that. Uh, more DDG, D Bank is such a repetitive, uh, bopper. 
But like this dude legit was spitting on Valiatorian. That's a really good little album to listen to. Uh, Anna the North Dream Girl really her her vocals are really good on there. Uh, that's why I threw that in there. My Forte, look, these Silk Money. I like was thinking about um, it was a thread on KTT where they were talking about like how much of an asshole Silk Money was, and uh, I haven't listened to um, DBSB Divine Council, uh, you know Divine Council individuals in a minute. So I decided to listen to Silk Money. I listened to his entire discography, and he's a couple of songs that I like. Uh, Fantagram Island movies, as far as I can see, uh, I think I went back and listened to um. The song Rocky flipped uh, when I was small off like the 100,000th time. And uh, I just listened to something else on there and it happened to be this song. And it's really good. Uh, Booth Boy Icy, always good for a couple of bangers. I Smell Pussy. Uh, so this is, I always type in I Smell. to listen to I Smell Crack by JPEG Mafia. And this song always popped up. So I finally listened to it. It's really good. Uh, Victor 2010, Anthrax is just a good bit project period. So we got Beavers and Butch Butthead by Cash or Kwan. Uh, I didn't know this was on Spotify. Like I, I've heard this on YouTube before, but like I was just looking at TJS his Spotify profile. And then this was at the bottom. Like it was just just sitting there, so I just listened to it. It's definitely not as creative as Dynamic Duo, but it's it works. Uh, In a Mirror by Clamp Casino. Moon Tip, Moon, I'm fucking up right now. Moon Trip Radio is really good. Um, you know the, this post samples Eric Clancy you know, you get it how you live with some of his music. You either like it or you don't. But I do think he always comes to a certain level of consistency that you can't say he's not a good producer. I think personally, sample Clancy you know, like the things he was doing before, really he started getting hawked down. I mean, he was just top tier. He does. He still does a pretty good job even now. Uh, and speaking of Image and Heat, I was listening. To, I pretty much listened. I think most of the Speak for Yourself. Uh, I was not really in bench on um, I'm God. So I, you know, that kind of put me towards that. Uh, Shoreline Mafia. Uh, I think this is suggested to me by Daily Mix. A uh, really cool track. Currency fits their somehow. Currency catches their beat. Their rhythm pretty quick, uh, very well and very quickly, which is interesting to me. That song works in a way I didn't expect it to. That was hard. Carbon Mill already mentioned that. Uh, sec check one and then the visual. Uh, I think I finally listened to the ooze all the way through. I think I love the ooze and I love, I think it's one of the top three winter albums along with SRS. And uh, I forget the other one I put up there, but I think it was maybe some James Blake shit. This. Is an amazing winter album, but I don't believe I ever like really just went through and listened to like the last stretch. When you get past Bermondsey uh, Bosom Right, I think I kind of like tune out usually. I don't think I made it that far sometimes. I don't know. I just I just bust my nerve early with some of the earlier tracks like um, uh, Sublunary Logos, obviously Dumb Surf, Dumb Surfer. The first like ten tracks are perfect, so I kind of like just tune out at that point. But it is great. Uh, Light Works. Doom raps over Lightworks. Um, Born Like This is a really interesting tape because it's still like, it's a newer Doom tape. It's from 09. Uh, and he kind of has like his voice that's, you know, as it is now, it's way more raspy. But it's like lyrically still very similar to, and humor wise, very similar to like Prime Doom. So it kind of works in a weird way. Uh, Tank, I think this is on um, Daily Miss or something like that. Time by the Free Nationals. They had, uh, I listened. I listened to Free Nationals uh, after seeing Time on. Um, I just searched it in, or searched in the song, and Time popped up. Uh, this song rides pretty well, and then the song Shibuya. Uh, Free Nationals really makes some pretty good music. I would say. Tell the Anderson dot pack. Um, James Blake remix that came out very recently. Uh, pretty decent, you know, little electric track. Uh, Compton AVs. What is this? This got to be a suggested track because I don't remember what this is. Uh, ten cell phones. Obviously, they'll come in a couple of bangers every once in a while. You know, you gotta just love them. Uh, so much fun. I don't believe I gave so much fun enough listens. I still think I have, but it's a good, good little um, good song. Uh, Little Peep and Gabe. Um, listen, the three Little Peep and Gabe songs off of Everybody's Everything. Are unbearable because of Gabe, but this is the least bear unbearable. 
Lil Peep did his thing on all three of them, I believe, especially um, Fangirl and Rockstar. But, golly, man, that game was horrible. A um, couple with the Sun Talk tracks. I got to go back and listen to the whole album all the way through. I don't believe I did, but it is one of my favorite songs. Um, that slum sound is just timeless. Uh, Matt So is still in my, not in my panties, but um, I've heard the album name. The song, the album name, you know, in my panties, headphones, etc., etc. It's on there. A uh, little big man, little big man, is still one of my favorite albums. Um, Mike is good, of course. Um, I'm trying to think of who else is in that click right now. I associate Matt So, uh, not Matt So Cream. Um, Matt Homie with them unnecessarily, but Matt Homie makes pretty decent sound of music. And I don't think he's a grandstanding artist that a lot of people put him up to be, but he's pretty good. Uh, and of course, I guess now Earl is basically a slums artist in, in musical respect, definitely. So, I mean, he makes good music, of course. Uh, Millie vs. Melvin, uh, really decent tape. I mean, he can deal with his style and make music that, uh, you know, that Jada Youngin, that, uh, just kind of nasally crooning R&B, uh, NBA Young Boy sound, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of it as far as the whole album goes. Um, Days Before Three, Lucky came through with um, another uh, another sequel. I'm pretty much, I think he has like a sequel for every, like, everything he makes. I mean, Days Before, uh, Free Wave, uh, I don't think he made a sequel to Alternative, was it Alternative Trap? Uh, but, I mean, he's gonna make a sequel, he's gonna make a music. Uh, House of Sugar, I finally listened to that, I had the tab pulled up on my Safari for like, what, five months? Uh, I finally listened to it, it's pretty good. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't come across this Watermelon Sugar song by typing in Sugar into Google. I don't know how I came up, uh, or into Spotify, I don't know how I came about listening to this song, but it wasn't that way. Uh, and I've been listening to Big Bad very recently, um, that song, uh, Spun It. Uh, and the other song where he referenced at least Christian Dior. No, Walks to the Store. Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Giggs' sound is so likable. I don't know how anybody can say I don't like Giggs. The dude just makes likable, fun music. Uh, and that's why I mess a lot of his bars. I think he's like... He's basically what people say UK rappers are like. But he's a little bit more clever than they know stereotypes anyway um this video has been on way too long hope you enjoyed this uh and i'm trying to make december a lot better and i'll supposed to cover on it peace